Now this one, this one made my heart sing. This one, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I think one of the greatest gifts in this life is knowing people, having the opportunity, the the gift of knowing someone over a long period of time and being able to see them grow and mature and their wisdom developing and their confidence and their comfort in their own being. And you remember back to how insecure they used to be and you just get to smile at all they are now. I was thinking of a friend the other day and he was someone I was dating when I was talking about writing my first book. It wasn't even together yet. And now four books later, we're still in contact and I will always adore Andy. Yes, I mentioned your name, Andy. So that was so special. And I was on social media the other day. I know you're shocked just observing life. And I have this one friend now, she deserves the credit for this. Her name is Jenna Ray Yerksa. She is the most amazing example of two-eyed seeing. She's, I believe, in the process of getting her PhD. And I mean, she's so educated and so wise and so incredible. And she roasts and harvests monomen, the rice, wild rice. And just like, just such a beautiful combination of teachings from both worlds. So anyways, in this post, um, she was processing the rice. Oh, there's the heads up. We're going to do that again, are we? <laughs> um, she was roasting the rice. and But this was a picture of her partner, her husband, Terry, her, her, just, they're, they're, such a beautiful couple cannot even describe it and he was literally literally tending the fire and what her quote was get this this is so incredibly beautiful spend your life with someone who helps take care of your fire that's my tip right she it so reminded me of my mom because there she was like some people just spend way too much time just in the obvious, the superficial. Her husband was tending a fire. But in that moment, she realized what a beautiful metaphor for a relationship in life. Find the person who tends your fire, not the one who wants you to be smaller, not the one that tries to put your flame out, wants to throw water on that dream of yours. The one that tends the fire, the one who believes in you on the days that you forget to. The theme of this video is obviously watching what the world and creator sends to you. But I pray that you are surrounded by people who tend your fire. I know I am between my family and my team and my friends and you. My fire is burning quite brightly and strong and beautiful. And I thank you for that. Miigwech. We have one more stage to discuss, the elder stage. This is the reflection and learning stage, which, as you may have noticed, happens through all the stages. That's how you grow your wisdom and your confidence and your self-awareness. Yeah, do the work. There is no checkbox. So let's talk about the elder stage. Next.